Tonight, the barbecue business is not immune from inflation as restaurants see their cost increase. Diners can now expect a price increase for some of their favorite fare, like brisket. Fox 2's Stephanie Brothman is live tonight in Soulard with the impact inflation is having on the barbecue business, which is big in St. Louis. Stephanie. Well, Bogart's was so happy to reopen one year ago this month, but unfortunately, just as they thought they survived the worst with the pandemic, brisket prices started to rise, and unfortunately, they haven't stopped since. We're blessed. We're busy from the time we open our doors until we sell out in the afternoon. Bogart's has been cooking up St. Louis style barbecue for 12 years. So we've got our pork shoulders up here on our top racks and then on the bottom racks we got our what are going to be our burnt ends. Those are the points of the br brisket that we cut off. Pretty popular. Very popular. Just like many small businesses when the pandemic hit, so did their prices. Some of the regular customers noticed it, you know, it was a very small increase. Uh, but after the first of the year, not only the meat prices went up, the chemicals are going up, paper products are going up, plastic wear is going up. Uh, every time you turn around, something's going up. A popular item, brisket, doubled in price. It's been a whole new world for us, and we're just trying to, to learn every day. Uh, and try to get around it. A brisket sandwich right now costs $13 at Sugar Fire, $13.99 at Salt and Smoke, and $14.25 at Bogart's. Brisket a year ago was probably right around $2.36 a pound, and now we're upwards close to $5 a pound. These latest numbers, the highest in years. Meals would cost even more, but restaurants like Bogart's are eating up some of those costs to try and go easy on customers' wallets. We don't want to scare nobody away. We don't, you know, don't want to look like we're price gouging, uh, which we're not. But uh, we'd rather them just come back and be happy. They may continue to feel the heat, but Bogart won't let an increase smoke them out. So you just keep going, you know, and just hope things are going to get better. Corner. And Maki hopes that with spring, all of these picnic tables will be filled with people wanting to go out again with that warm weather. And he says that his customers is what gets him through it. Reporting in Soulard, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.